Hi again. In this video, we are going to learn more details about the input variables in Terraform. In our last video, we have seen the Terraform variables and the locals. If you haven't watched that video, the link is given in the description box and the information above. Here in this video, we are going to more focus about the detailed concept of the input variables. Here I have my repository. In my repository, currently I have a couple of output variables mentioned. These are the output variables which we are going to use to display the output onto our console window. Let's see what are the different type of variables we have in Terraform and how we can use those variable types. First of all, as we have already seen, the variable type is the string, which is most commonly used variable type available in the Terraform. One more interesting thing in the Terraform variables is you can define the variable with the name and just give the default value. The Terraform automatically convert and into a, its own type. For example, if I give the variable organization name with the default value as a string, the Terraform will treat the variable as a string type. Whereas, if I'm going to give the Terraform variable as a default value with key value pair, then the Terraform variable will treat that particular value as a map type. Similar to that, if you provide any other type, then Terraform will do the explicit conversion at the runtime. If you want, you can give the implicit conversion while defining your variable type. But even though if you don't do that, Terraform will automatically convert that. That's a good thing about the Terraform. Let's begin how many types of different variables we have and let's see how we can use those. As, as I said, the best basic one is the string, which is good. Now let's see the other type, which is map type. So here in the map type, as I mentioned, you can have the key value pair in the map type. For example, I have the variable type tags, which could be the, the key value pairs for my tagging scenario. So let's say in Azure resources, I want to provide different tags to my resource. I can use the map type very well in this particular scenario, wherein I'm providing the different, different values for my tags, for example, Let's say I have a department tag, which has the name value, def default name value as department, the name of the department is account, and then I can have the other tag, let's say environment name, for example, then I can have the environment name as dev, or any other, so you can have the multiple of them, and this is the default value which I'm defining it right now. So you can have it and then define the type I'm going to define the explicit type right now. Here you can define the type as a map. So this is the type and now let's see how do we generate the outcome. So here I'm going to use the output variables. So if you've seen, I'm just copying this and using it in my variable tags, where tag. I'm going to use the output type variable name so that though it doesn't duplicate. Let's see if I'm going to print, I'm able to print this. Let me clear the window. I got the value variable invalid expression tokens. Because the curly braces I put it over here. So you need to remember that after equals your curly brace should be started. Hopefully this should resolve the issue. So 
this was just a syntactical error but hopefully it should be fine now you can see I have all my output variable listed this is the list type variable this is one of the string type variable which I am printing it here and this is the tag output which is a type of map so we have seen three different type string map type and the list type so list is again like if you are a programmer in .NET or any other language we have where you have used the type specific list or array then this is the similar type wherein you define your list and you define the type of the list and here I'm defining the list with some of the default values where I have added couple of more variable types for example I have added boolean type number type and the type of list which we have already discussed let's see if I'm able to print those variable types I'm able to print the variable values number and boolean both so this is the way you can use the boolean and variable and list type now let's look at uh, the object type variables so I've defined the object type variable here within the object type I have defined all the complex I've include try to include all the complex types so this is my car model object here I've added the map type inside that so one of the property or attribute is type of map wherein I'm defining the engine type here capacity and then range is going to be again a map type here in the max speed I'm defining type as a number mileage I'm defining as a type of string is this a self type defining as a true false and again available model I'm defining as a list type so I've tried to include all the different types into a more uh, object type more uh, variables this is how you can use the variables in the terraform let's see how if I'm able to print that particular variable here in the output so this was the scenarios uh, I've given so based on your logical requirement you can use the different variable types here now let's see how do we pass the variables in the apply command so like right now if you have observed carefully I'm not passing any variables let me clear first of all I'm not passing any variable types here but if I want to pass a variable type then I can pass simply the variable type like this so you can type uh, provide the variables multiple variables like this where then the name of variables and the value and again where the name of value or very variable in the value so if you pass the variable the default value of your variable which you define in the variable file is going to be all right so now you should have the outcome displayed as per the input information which you have provided while running the terraform apply command so if you see this is the name of variable which I'm passing it Eva and Rakesh which we have listed and printed here the other way is you can pass the variable file so if you have the variable files here so you can pass the variable file name so for example let me create a variable file form input you can give it any name tfs so you you need to remember you are giving the extension as a tfr if you are providing as a variable file and here you can pass the variable values like this for example here I'm passing the variable value something like that so 
so let's say I'm going to project name I'm going to say Google organization I'm going to say Accenture and if I'm going to pass this variable file well file then I should have the input input variable dot tf paths for now I'm just trying to commit all the other type of variables so that we do, don't get more output so your focus is just to see if we are getting the variable values which has been provided in the input tfr files so in the next picture we need to provide the value just like this if because those val variables are the type of string variables So you can see I got the outcome and the input file is been passed on. Other way to pass the variables in Terraform is use the environment variables. Environment variables helps you to pass the input variables into the Terraform process. So Terraform reads the value of the variables if it is available in the environment variables. So how do you pass the environment variables? Let's look at now. So you can set up the environment variables in Windows like dollar sign, the name of the keyword env colon, and then you need to pass on the Terraform variable preserved keyword, which is df underscore var underscore, and then name of the variable. Here in my case, I'm passing the name of my variable location so if you see now I do not have any values to the variable location which means before I run the terraform apply command I need to pass on the variables to my program so location value must be passed on so here instead of passing it at the default or instead of passing it through the terraform apply command and passing the in terraform location value through the environment variable press enter and the environment variable is set up now let's look at the terraform apply command you can see in this case i'm not passing any variables through the apply command because the variables which i wanted to pass which is location i have already set up as an environment variable let's look at if it is going to print the value as expected here i'm printing the output of the value which is available in the where location as expected the value is set up right now so let's change the value again just to make sure it's not getting confused to the audience something happen, happens in the location I've set up the value of the variable I'm applying the telephone command again and I'm expecting this to be printed yep this is what it is expected so in this session we have covered the different variable types how do you pass the variables to the terraform apply command by passing the variables through the var attribute passing the variable through the var file attribute wherein you can pass on the variable files uh, to the uh, terraform apply command or passing the variable as an environment variables now one last thing before i call off this particular call is the Terraform has the reserve file name for your variable. So you can say Terraform underscore variables and then tfvars. So if you are going to pass on any variables inside this file, 
then the variables will be picked up from here. So this is the reserve file which it has. So if, if you use this file and provide the value inside this file, then Terraform automatically reads the value of those variables directly. That's it in this particular video. Thanks for watching.